Welcome back to our video module on statics. I'd like to take just a moment to talk about the difference between the second moment and the first moment. Now, those of you who are paying attention on our last module, we covered the second moment and we found out that this tells us how much a cross section or how much something resists bending. Another uh, word that we gave to this or another label was the moment of inertia. Now, those of you who remember, we've also discovered something uh, or we've also discovered the first moment and let's say about say the x-axis the first moment was defined as the integral of y dA and this allowed us to find uh, centroids that's that's really where we where we use this we wanted to identify where is the bulk of the uh, or where is the force acting where can we consider it as acting and what I'd like to do is take a quick look at, at uh, let, like let's try and in, invent some sort of scenario where we can explore what those two things mean so we can really be careful about distinguishing them. So I was thinking about this and I thought well let's imagine that we have a ruler okay we have a ruler it's uh, it's it's 3D um, and it looks something like this and let's say we want to know if we wanted to put our finger on it where we would be able to balance it okay we want to balance it well if we want to balance it we want to know where the center of it is, where to focus the forces. Well, that, that brings us over to the first moment. The first moment, remember, uh, tells us where the force acts. The first moment tells us where the force acts. So let's say we want to know how to balance it. So we use the first moment to find out where the force acts. Now, of course, in this case, it's a trivial solution, right? it's going to be halfway in the middle of the uh, of the ruler. However, let's say we, we change the rules a little bit. Let's say we look at it from uh, we look at it from the right. OK, we're going to look at it from here. And when I do that, this is what I see. I see a ruler that's like this. OK, and I want to know that as I look at it and I try to bend the ruler like this, I'm going to try bending it. How much does this want to resist bending? How stiff is it? So this is another measure of, uh, of stiffness, or it's one of our measures of stiffness. Um, how stiff is it? Well, I might get, I might get a certain number, and that the, the big indicator for that is going to be my moment of inertia. My moment of inertia is y squared dA. And here we're going to do y and x. Okay. Let's say on the flip side that we decide to rotate it. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees. We're going to keep our view. And now I want to know, okay, now how stiff is it? And you can already see, I mean, you can, you don't even have to pull out a ruler to try this, um, that this one right here, this is going to bend way easier than this one right here. And as a matter, this one will probably want to twist and do some funky things. We'll learn more about that later. And you can already see what's happening here. All right, the area is pretty much going to be the same for both of these, right? Well, now let's take a look at that y squared term. The y squared term here, you're getting way further away from that, uh, from that center, away from that neutral axis, the place where it wants to rotate about in this one. This one, the y values, they're like right next to that neutral axis. That means this moment of inertia will be a lot lower. This one will be a lot higher. So we can see in a simple yardstick where we would choose to use the first moment and where we would choose, use, choose to use the second moment. Catch me on our next video. We're going to start looking more about the characteristics of the second moment.